Hi floppy catters! Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to take a cheek swab from Addie, my sister's ragdoll cat, but we're also going to take a cheek swab from Ash and to test them for HCM. The reason this all came about is because a reader contacted me asking me about the test and if I had it, had it done on Charlie and Trig and I haven't, Charlie and Trigg are 10 years old. Ash is, and Addie are how old? Five. Five. So usually if they have, it, HCM is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, if I pronounce that right. Um, usually it manifests itself, you know, between one and two years of age. Um, so we're hoping that this isn't the case, but it's North Carolina State College of Veterinary Medicine that does it. And this is their genetic testing. They do it on Maine Coons and Ragdolls. Um, you can get both tests done or just one test. So today we're gonna take the swabs that they sent us um, and do the swab test. Just kind of show you how it's done. But I'm, in, all, in one whole video, I am going to do the test, send them in, and then show you guys the results. So. Let's get started. So they send you two swabs per cat. And so you want to write their name on the outside of it. And then you just open up where that arrow is. And then you can pull the brush out from there. And we've never done this before, so we'll see how it goes. We watched a video on YouTube of it being done to a dog. So we'll see about... It's easier because dogs have a bigger mouth. Oh my goodness. I can't see it all. Sorry. Right. I'm just twirling. They said in her oh, upper gum. She's pretty tolerant though. You know, so I mean oh. I'm sure it doesn't feel great. Not loving that. You're supposed to twirl it so that it obviously gets the DNA cells. Okay, that's probably close to 20 seconds. <laughs> trying to bite it. I know. It's hard with a cat. Okay. Good girl, that's good girl. Probably... All right, swab number two. They have you do two swabs. I think just in case, you know, one is a bad Ready? take. Why don't you try your other lip? Let's see if that one. Just so much easier with the dog because they have so much more I know. stuff to work with. Good girl. Good girl. Mm. <laughs> Did not appreciate that. Was that like a sneeze or a meow? Piss your yeah. pants. Oh, good girl, Charlie being, is going to love girl, this. Being, good girl. Oh, don't bite it. Your vet can also do this if you don't feel comfortable doing it with your cat. <laughs> okay, that's probably good. That's now. good. Okay, so then you just put it back into the plastic container for shipping purposes. And then we said to go ahead and tape this end. On a YouTube video that we watched because we couldn't understand the instructions, which are on the back of the sheet that they send you with the swab kit. But I just shut down when I read all of that, so we went to YouTube to see how it was done. smell it I guess but you don't want it to I know be contaminated okay Ash are you ready where are you going all right it's Ash's turn and he we washed our hands as they said if you're doing two cats you want to wash your hands in between because obviously you might have the DNA from the last cat on your hands which could contaminate the sample Good boy. You think that was 20 seconds? No, but it might be enough. 
Hit one more. He's actually not as bad as I thought he would be. Good boy. All right. It's the bad. turning that yeah. he didn't mind it in his mouth. He didn't like the turning. I just include the cat hair. It's got DNA on it. <laughs> okay, one done. Ash is Amy's very difficult cat at the vet, so she thought he'd be pretty difficult with this. Hmm. So fun, Ash. Maybe we just stick with the other side so that seemed to work. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Dogs would be so much easier. You gotta lift that lip up and then stick it underneath and then you're supposed to twirl it for 20 seconds. Oh, your breast stinks. <laughs> Just tried to bite it. Definitely got some good saliva stuff there. Okay, a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Ironically, days after we filmed Amy doing the cheek swab to Addie, our vet did a cheek swab on Addie for her gastrointestinal disease. She's going to be a part of a sample group that's going to look into the DNA of that. So our vet had to do cheek swabs and I wanted to show you guys how a vet goes about it. Of course, she's using more of a Q-tip here, whereas the one that we used had more of a brush on it. So it's a little bit different, but gives you an idea of how to get it done. Once you have sent in the samples that you swabbed from the kitty's lips, you will get an email from them from North Carolina State College of Veterinary Medicine letting you know that they have received the samples. In this case, you're looking at the sample received for ASH. And then it says you can expect results within the next three to five business days. Since these are Amy's cats, that since ASH and Addie are Amy's cats, it was all sent to Amy. But literally, they received the samples on January 30th. And by January 31st, we got the results. And you can tell from the PDF that ASH is negative. And so it says, um, you know, ragdoll hypertrophic cardiomyopathy testing, which is HCM. It's the most common form of heart disease in a cat. In many breeds, it's an inherited disease. Our laboratory has identified a mutation responsible for the gene in some cats. However, it should be noted that in human beings with the same disease, there are many different genetic mutations which can cause this disease. It is likely the same in cats. So you'll see that ASH is negative here, um, and then it explains our current interpretations of the possible test resu results are negative cats have two copies of the normal unmutated unmut gene. Very importantly, the absence of the mutation in this cat does not mean that it will never develop the disease. It means that it does not have the only known mutation that can cause a disease in the cat at this time. In the future, additional mutations may be identified that may be tested for as well. And then you are always welcome to pause the video and read about the positive heterozygous. Yep, somebody didn't get a biology degree. Um, and then the positive homo one. And then let's look at Addie's. So here's Addie's same email. And then hers was negative too. Woo, 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 woo. So I've always heard about this genetic testing through the years and I've always been fascinated by how it works and all of that stuff, but usually it's only breeding cats that are tested for these sort of genetic mutations just to make sure that they're not passing it on to their kittens. But sometimes those breeding cats aren't tested and so it's important to test your own cats. So this is an option for you. You can do it at home and send it in just like we did and then you'll have peace of mind if you will on how it works out. So I will leave a link to this website, to this specific page in the about section below. If you're watching this video years later and know that this has changed for any reason, please let me know so I can update it. But you can see um, that there's a number here. You can order a swab kit. You can email them if you have any questions. Um, it looks like they, they also do Maine Coon testing and then they do 
Boxers, Dobermans, Newfoundlands, Road. I don't know what kind of dog that is. I don't know how to say that. R Rhodesian, Ridgeback. Um, but this is how I went about it, did the submission form. And then if you're a breeder, you can do an entire litter. Um, and then there's the negative, positive stuff that I already discussed. Let me know what questions you have in the about section below. Thanks so much for watching. If you've done genetic testing with your cats, tell us where, why, and what the results were so I could learn more as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our free weekly newsletter that goes out on Wednesdays. I'll include a link to it in the about section below. We'll see you next time.